How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary ghost photos that seem to have no rational explanation. So strap yourself in, hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. When it comes to eerie ghost photos, this one, captured by Andrew Waters in St. Bathans, New Zealand, has resulted in a lot of curiosity. Waters and his partner set off in search of spiritual activity that reportedly haunted the local town. However, Waters confesses that he's neither a supernatural enthusiast or a skeptic. When the two heard of the supposedly haunted Vulcan Hotel, they decided to capture plenty of photos. After taking photos, they went off to the pub, buzzing with excitement. Yet, it wasn't until Waters examined one particular photo of his partner in front of the St. Bathans post office that he began to realise what they had stumbled upon. A portrait of an unknown figure appears in the window of the post office. It almost looks like an old lady sitting in the top floor window. Jude Kavanagh, the current manager of the Vulcan Hotel, admits this was the first time she had heard of any ghosts appearing at the post office. However, she goes on to concede that the town has a reputation for being haunted. The post office in question has been preserved since the 1950s. It had been vacant for the year prior to the photograph being taken, effectively adding to the legend of the place for locals and tourists alike. Amanda Ware, Community Relations Manager for the City's Department of Conservation, adds that the floor in question historically comprised of the postmaster's living quarters. She wondered if the figure was the postmaster himself coming back for a visit. Some viewers have noted it could be a reflection of clouds in the sky creating a case of pareidolia, the curious tendency humans have to see familiar patterns in random stimulus. Waters admits he was shocked by the discovery, but affirms the photo didn't sway him to one side or another regarding his belief in the supernatural. However, it seems clear Waters wouldn't have shared the photo in the first place had it not shaken his disbelief even slightly. Wisps of ghosts and suggestions of spirits can send the mind into overdrive, but there's something about corporeal spirits that is utterly shocking. Some paranormal enthusiasts say you have to be fast to capture a spirit. They tend to be there one second and gone the next. Most people who capture these eerie photos will swear no one else was in the room with them. Yet, yeah, things are very different when it comes to a corporeal being. In Lisa Venezia's case, the phenomenon occurred in a photo taken at her cousin's Sweet Sixteen party in Brick, New Jersey. If you look closely, there's a little girl hiding in the darkness in the corner. Lisa asserts that no one involved in the photo had any idea who the little girl hiding behind the rack of coats in the corner could have been. Nearly shrouded in darkness, the girl is nevertheless fairly easy to make out. Rather than a shadow or a simple reflection, it seems quite clear that the girl truly was present in the corner. In this case, the corporeal being is nothing short of mystifying. Upon looking back at the photo, Lisa says, it's just a freaky image that nobody can explain. The girl's identity is unknown among the guests. It leaves us to question if the ghost may have been some unknown family member or a previous resident of that home. However, her identity will likely always remain a mystery. This photo is nearly enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. The photo in question depicts a toddler in a baby walker. Unfortunately, there's very little information to go on with this picture. It's believed that the person who took the photo was wondering why the toddler was so distracted. They took out their camera to capture the odd moment. The photo in question is inherently unsettling. The toddler faces away from the camera and looks at the figure on its opposite side. The figure is out of focus. It looks to be wearing a white dress and is reaching down with a thin arm towards the toddler. What's more, the idea that the toddler can see the figure in question adds another level of disturbing quality to the photo. It lends credence to the idea that while the photographer may not have seen the figure, the toddler certainly did. Having an eerie figure haunt one's home is bad enough. 
Having it reveal itself only on film and to one's toddler is even worse. A photo submitted to the Express website raises questions regarding the safety of another toddler, along with the safety of their entire family. What should have been another innocent photo of a toddler near a sofa has become one New York family's source of unexpected dread. Near the girl positioned on the sofa appears to be the clear outline of a ghostly face. The two-year-old girl in question had apparently already told her family of her spiritual visitor. She told her family that she was routinely scared by an elderly woman by the name of Peg. The girl's story gets progressively worse. She went on to warn her family that Peg would often scare her by coming into her bedroom in the middle of the night. While her parents made sure to investigate these instances, they confirmed they had never seen Peg or any other presence in their daughter's room. Chalking it up to a child's imagination, it's easy to see why the parents may have assumed they had nothing to worry about. However, as the tale of many such ghost photos goes, this changed when the family took this picture. Eerily, the parents had to agree that the face in question appeared to be that of a hag or a witch. The father chose to remain skeptical, chalking it up to a reflection in the sofa's material. He nevertheless had to concede that he was disturbed by the coincidence. With his daughter often disappearing into a trance and claiming to see a presence much like the one in the photograph, even this skeptic's faith had to be shaken just a little. Featured on the website Ghost and Ghouls, the story behind this photo may never be fully known but is worth examining. Harkening back to eerie ghost photos of yore, this sepia-toned old-timey photograph captures a seemingly old and abandoned vehicle. The story behind the photo asserts that the truck was being towed away after an unknown number of years sitting abandoned. A police officer snapped a few photos of the vehicle for his records. However, it's likely the police officer in question was in for quite the surprise upon reviewing this photo. While one can be relatively sure the officer inspected the vehicle thoroughly before calling for a tow, it seems improbable that someone could have been seated in the vehicle as it was towed away. This lends credence to the idea that the face clearly photographed in said vehicle was, in actuality, the face of some spirit or apparition that resided in the vehicle. Naysayers think it's a clever Photoshop job touched up many years after the photo was actually taken. Others believe that the face may belong to some forgotten soul that had a strong tie to the vehicle in life. Whatever the case may be, it's certainly an unsettling photo, one that raises questions about the true nature of the afterlife. Before we take a look at an unsettling ghost photo taken in an ancient castle in England, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to sock that thumbs up button right in the guts. Captured by one Lenny Lowe and submitted to the news outlet The Mirror, this photo of a Newark Castle ghost appears to bear some historical significance. As with many of these eerie ghost photos, this one was captured in search of spiritual activity. Lowe himself is a paranormal investigator, so it's likely he knew exactly what to look for to get a picture such as this. The photo itself, which was taken in Newark Castle in England, sports an oddly blurred corner just where a strange figure can be seen. For some reason, a black shroud appears to be floating right near a semi-transparent woman. According to Lowe, the woman is dressed similar to a fisherwoman that would have existed in the castle's prime. As though one is watching a snapshot from the past, the woman appears to be frozen in time she's still attending to her duties. Lowe also clarifies that the area of the castle which the woman appears to walk towards would have been the pantry area of the castle. This lends even more credence to the fisherwoman theory. Oddly historically accurate, this photo has less potential to scare and more potential to awe its viewers. You'll have to decide for yourself if this photo truly captured a piece of history. 
Either way, I'd love to hear your theories in the comment section below. Now, if you want to see some more scary ghost photos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, this Real Photos playlist here will keep you entertained for hours and hours. Now, leave us a comment down below. Smash that thumbs up button if you're enjoying our content. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.